Hello and welcome. My name is Carrie, and I am so glad that you are joining me today. We are going to do a morning flow to balance your body and your mind. So get yourself into something comfortable, get yourself on your mat, and we'll begin. So sitting up nice and tall, getting yourself comfortable, having your legs either outstretched or crossed like I have mine, or even sitting in Japanese style. And we'll just take a moment to close our eyes, to go inside, to see how we're feeling on this fine day. Checking in from the bottoms of your toes all the way up to the top of your crown. Noticing any tight spots, any injuries, or anything that's not feeling right. And as we move through our practice, just being very gentle with yourself, making sure that everything is feeling right for you. And then focusing in on your breath, checking in to see the quality of your breath this morning, checking in to see where that breath is flowing to. See if you can get the breath all the way down into your lower belly. Maybe even placing your hands there and see if you can breathe into your hands. And as you're focusing in on your breath, we're going to uh, breathe in for the count of three. We're going to hold for three and we're going to exhale for six. So taking a breath in, two, three, Hold, two, three, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and six. Inhale, two, three, hold, two, three, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and six. And once more, inhale. Hold and exhale. And then bringing your breath back to its natural rhythm. Let's bring our hands together at our heart center, setting an intention for your practice today. Whatever it is you need to bring more balance to, just setting that now. And then we'll bring the fingers together. Let's send the palms out in front, giving the wrists a little stretch. And then we'll reach those palms up towards your ceiling. See how the shoulders feel. If it's too intense, you can always open your hands up. And with both sits bones on the mat. Let's slowly come over to the right, breathing into that side body, and then back to center, and we'll go over to the other side, checking in to see how everything is feeling. And then back to center. Let's release those hands, letting them float back down towards the floor. Beautiful. We'll do a reach up with the left arm coming over to your right. Breathing here. And then bringing both arms back up to the ceiling. Let's let the left arm go down, right arm up and over. And both arms back up to the ceiling. Let's bring the left hand to the right knee, right arm behind. Nice gentle twist, looking over your right shoulder. 
and then bring both hands back up. And let's move to the other side, right hand to left knee, left hand behind. And then bringing both arms back up to center. We're going to let them float back down to the ground and fold over your hips. Just letting your head come down, taking a few breaths all the way up the back body. And then slowly coming back up. Let's switch our legs so the other leg is in front or on top. And then folding forward again, just seeing how this side feels. And then we'll come back up, bringing your hands onto your knees. Let's take a nice big circle. Imagine you're stirring a nice big jug of lemonade today. <laughs> When life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. And then going in the other direction. Beautiful, let's come back to center and lay all the way down onto your mat today. Getting your spine nice and long, shoulders relaxing down towards the mat. Let's send that right leg up towards the ceiling. Maybe flexing and pointing your foot. And then with your foot flexed, nice and long leg, stretching out the hamstrings. Let's slowly lower this leg down to the count of 20. So nice and slow. Just imagine that somebody's guiding it down, keeping your breath flowing, maybe pulling your navel towards your spine. 10, 9, 8, 7. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Letting your heel touch the mat and then lifting that leg up an inch or so. Let's take small movements up and down, keeping your breath flowing and targeting that deep psoas muscle at the top of your hip. And then we'll take the heel and the leg side to side. So just an inch or so on either side, keeping your leg a few inches off the mat. And then we'll take the toes over towards the right. Let's send that foot up and down, leg up and down on an angle this time. And then we'll take the toes to the left and take it up and down, pigeon toed really targeting all areas of that deep muscle. And then letting that right leg rest, let's send the left leg out, bringing your arms up and overhead, taking a nice big full morning breath. Ah, maybe letting out a sigh. And just bring your hands back down by your sides, noticing how the right side feels compared to the left. It might feel a little longer. So we'll bend the knees again, and this time let's send the left foot up towards the ceiling. And we can flex and point. Maybe that foot doing what feels right for you. And 
then with your foot flexed, heel pushing up, toes pointing down, let's slowly lower this leg back down towards the mat, keeping that breath flowing, keeping that navel towards your spine. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Heel touches the floor and then lift it up an inch or so. We'll take that leg up and down just a few inches. Again, we're targeting that deep muscle keeps us all standing upright making sure your breath is still flowing freely and then we'll take the heel from side to side just an inch or two on either side And then we'll take the toes, pointing them towards the left. Let's go up and down on an angle. And then we'll go to the right and up and down on an angle. Beautiful. Let's bring both knees into our chest. Wrap your arms around and just rocking from side to side. Giving your back a little massage here. Noticing any tender spots. And then gently rolling to your side, we'll bring ourselves back up and swing the legs around. We're going to come on to our hands and knees, getting yourself set up into a table position. So wrists underneath the shoulders, knees under the hips, getting your fingers nice and wide. We'll do a few cat cows with our breath. So as you exhale, rounding your back. As you inhale, belly sinks down, head and tailbone come up. Moving back and forth, and just checking in, noticing how your spine is feeling. Noticing if there's any tight spots, any tender bits. And then we'll come back to a neutral spine. Let's take the hands out in front of us just a few inches. We'll send the left hand through underneath that right arm and then laying your ear and your shoulder down onto the mat. So coming into a thread the needle pose, letting your right elbow rest onto the mat. Taking a moment to breathe into the upper back, releasing any stress or tension from those shoulders. I always like to imagine any heaviness rolling off my shoulders. Releasing any burdens. And then we'll slowly come back up and get ready for the other side. So right hand can thread through, resting your right shoulder and ear. Let that left elbow relax down and just breathing into that upper back. And then bringing yourself back up. Let's set the 
wrists back up underneath the shoulders. We'll curl the toes and come into our downward facing dog. So just pedaling out your feet if that works for you today. Stretching out the back of the legs. Letting your head be in between your arms, maybe shaking your head, yes and no. And then settling your heels down towards the mat. Maybe imagine as if somebody's pulling your hips up towards the ceiling. Taking a couple breaths here, belly button pulling in towards your spine. And then we'll slowly bring the hands back towards the feet, coming into a forward fold here. Maybe bend your knees if your back is a little tender. Maybe swaying from side to side. Getting loose and limp. And then coming back to center, let's uncross those hands. We'll bend the knees and slowly and gently make our way up to standing, keeping your chin tucked until you're feeling stable. And then letting your shoulders roll back as your head lifts up. Taking a moment, checking in to see how it feels to stand. Coming into our Tadasana, our mountain pose. Everything stacked up nice and tall. And just bringing your hands to your heart center again. Breathing into that heart space. And then we'll inhale, reach the arms up towards the ceiling. And let's grab hold of that left wrist and we'll come over towards the right. Beautiful, taking a few moments, breathing here. And then back to center. And let's do the other side, coming over to the left. And then back to center, releasing your hands, letting them float back down behind you. Maybe grabbing hold of your fists and pulling them down towards the floor. So imagine you're squeezing a pencil in between your shoulder blades. Breathing into that heart space. And then we'll slowly hinge over the hips bringing the head towards the mat and fists up towards the ceiling. Breathing here, letting your head hang down. Taking one last squeeze of those shoulders and then releasing your hands back down towards the mat. Coming back into our forward fold. Maybe inhale, coming halfway up, and exhale, fold. Let's walk the hands back out into our downward facing dog. Taking a breath here. And then bringing your knees back down to the mat. We're going to take the right leg forward and setting it up into our low lunge. So get that right knee underneath the armpit, right ankle underneath the knee. Sinking in a little bit deeper here. Maybe lifting your nose up and feeling a nice stretch. And then as you exhale, let's walk the fingers back. We'll straighten out that right leg and maybe bringing your nose down towards your knee. 
taking a few moments here and then slowly bringing your hands forward let's bring our hands onto our right knee sinking into this low lunge and then squeezing your thighs together and bringing your arms all the way up Taking a moment, maybe looking up in between that space. Feeling nice and strong here. And then we'll let the hands float back down to the mat. Let's curl the back toe. See if you can lift that right uh, left knee off the mat. We'll come into our plank pose. So getting both heels pushing back, wrists underneath the shoulders. Maybe moving back and forth if that works for you. Giving your wrists a little stretch, your toes a little stretch. And then settling, bringing your belly button up towards your spine, nice and long. And then we'll bring the knees back to the mat and resting back into child's pose, bringing the hips down to meet the heels, letting your head rest either on your hands or on the floor. Finding that grounding, taking a moment to relax and settle. And then we'll come back into our table pose. Let's bring the left foot forward, wiggling it in, coming into our low lunge on this side. Sinking into those hips. Getting that left knee in your armpit, helping with some lymphatic drainage here as you lift your nose up a little higher. And then we'll walk the fingers back, straightening out that left leg and bringing your nose towards your knee. And then coming forward, let's place our hands onto the left knee coming up. See how this side feels today. And then maybe reach the arms up towards the ceiling, looking up. Taking a few breaths here. And then letting your hands float back down to the mat. We'll curl the back toe again, lift that knee, coming back into our plank pose. Getting nice and long. Let's challenge ourselves here. We're gonna take the right knee to the right elbow. And then bringing it back down. Let's do the other side, left knee to left elbow. And back down. Bringing both knees to the mat and resting again into child's pose. Taking three breaths here. And then we'll come back into table position, curl the back toes, and bringing ourselves back up into our downward facing dog. Hips rising up. Heels coming down towards the mat. And this time, let's walk the feet up to meet the hands. Coming into our forward fold here. 
And then we'll bend the knees nice and generously so that the belly is resting onto the thighs. Let's reach the arms up, coming into our chair pose, feeling the weight in your heels, looking up. Feeling nice and strong again, just burning through any frustration in those legs. And then slowly folding back over, let's make our way back up into mountain pose. Keeping that chin tucked until you're stable, rolling the shoulders. Bringing your hands back to your heart, coming back to that place, that home, feeling your heart beating. Beautiful. We're going to check our balance today. So we'll come into tree pose if you can. We'll start with the right leg as the standing leg. And let's just bring our hands down to our belly just for some balance here. And then lift your heel up. Maybe your toes can come up, just playing around with wherever you're at today, wherever that leg feels comfortable. Beautiful. And if you want, you can reach the arms out and up like beautiful tree branches, reaching up. Nice. And then bring your palms together again, back down to your heart. And let's release that left foot back down, shake out the right. And see how the left side's feeling. Might not be so good for some of us. Let's bring the hands back to our core, back to that center of gravity. And then when you're ready, just playing around with it. So just doing what feels right for you. Sliding that leg up wherever it needs to come for you. Beautiful. Excellent. Let's reach the arms up. Nice and long and tall. Good. Nice. And then bring the palms together again. Let's let them slide back down to our heart. We'll release that right leg shaking it out shake the left leg out and let's make our way back down onto the mat sending your legs out in front of you give them a little shake maybe flexing and pointing your feet we're going to take our legs nice and wide today so a nice wide stance Taking those feet nice and wide. See how that feels for you. Just finding your balance right in the center of those legs. Toes are pointing up. Maybe even taking your thighs and just bringing them forward. So we're going to fold forward. So seeing how far down you can go before you reach some resistance. Letting your head relax as you take a moment to hang out here and just feeling that beautiful stretch in the inner thighs, the groin area. Breathing into those tight spots. And then walking your hands over towards your right foot, your right leg, letting your head relax here, keeping that left side a little heavier. And then we'll walk our hands across, back to the front and over to the left foot, left leg, and 
And then walking your hands back to the front. Let's roll back up. Sending that uh, right arm down towards your right toes. We're going to lift the left arm up and over. I'm just taking a few moments to breathe here. And then letting your left arm come down to your left leg, right arm reaches up and over. And coming back up to center. Let's bring those legs back together. Give them a little shake. We're going to take the right foot up and crossing it over. Taking the left arm around, we'll come into a twist here with your right arm behind you, looking over that right shoulder. Nice long spine. And slowly unwind, let's switch sides. So right leg goes out, left leg comes in and crosses over. Right arm around, left arm behind. And then coming back around. And let's lay all the way down again onto the mat. With your knees bent. Hands down by your sides. Let's send the right foot up towards the ceiling. We'll point the toes, maybe rotate this right ankle. And then the other direction. And then letting your right ankle rest on your left knee. We'll come into the hips here. Just letting your right knee move away from your body. Or if you want to go deeper, you can bring that left knee in towards your chest. And just using your breath to ease away any tightness, any tension. Noticing how that tension shifts and changes. And eventually dissolves away. And then we'll release the hands. Let's bring that left foot back down and the right. Hands down by your side, setting your heels up underneath your knees. Before we go to the other side, we'll come into a supported bridge pose. So as you exhale, we're going to push into the heels, lifting those hips up, making sure that your neck has enough room, keeping those knees hip width apart, keeping the breath flowing. And to challenge yourself this morning, let's see about taking that right foot up towards the ceiling, pushing into the left foot. 
and then we'll bring that right foot back down. Let's push into the right foot and send the left toes up to the ceiling. And then sending that left foot back down and pushing into both heels. Very slowly, let's lower ourselves down towards the mat. And just feeling each of those little bones touching down. Feeling the beautiful support as your whole back rests. And then we'll send the left foot to the ceiling, pointing your toe, rotating your ankle. And then the other direction. And then letting your left ankle rest onto your right knee. See how this side feels for your hip. Maybe bringing that right knee in, wrapping your arms around, and just breathing into any tightness or tension. Allowing it to release and let go. And then we'll release the hands if they're behind that right leg, bringing your left foot back down to the mat. Let's stretch our arms out and we'll come into a spinal twist, letting your knees float down towards the right, making any adjustments so that your shoulders stay resting. And looking over towards the left hand. Breathing all the way down the length of your spine. And just letting go, allowing your back to release and unwind. And then we'll bring the knees and the head back to center. Let's bring the knees in for a hug and rocking from side to side. And then setting your feet back down, arms back out. We'll get ready to do the other side so your knees can float down to the left. Head to the right, taking some time to allow your back to unlock and relax. And we'll come back to center, maybe this time placing a hand on each knee, 
taking your knees into circles, whichever way feels good for you, just playing around for a moment. And then stretching your legs out, let's reach the arms up and overhead. Taking a nice big breath in and letting out a sigh. Letting your arms float down by your sides. Maybe palms are up, feet nice and long. And just closing your eyes here, coming into integration pose, allowing this opportunity for all of those postures this morning to integrate into your body. Feeling the beautiful support of the floor. free and easy flow of your breath. And noticing how you're feeling in this moment compared to how you began the start of the class. And today's meditative poem is by Dana Falds called Joy for No Reason. I am filled with quiet joy for no reason, save the fact that I am alive. The message I receive is clear. There's no time to lose from loving, no place but here to offer kindness. No day but this to be my true, unfettered self and pass the flame from heart to heart. This is the only moment that exists. So simple, so exquisite, and so real. Joy for no reason. And when you're ready, you can begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. Bringing that full breath back into your belly. And slowly coming back up to a seated, comfortable position. Beautiful. Let's bring our hands together at our heart center, taking a collective breath in through the nose and out through the mouth, breathing in and out. From my heart to yours, may you have a very well-balanced day. Namaste.